Good morning, I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and we're going to be bringing a message today about God's loving will. Uh, it comes from the book of Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 36, if you want to follow along. And we're going to be talking about Jesus teaching to His disciples and the multitudes after He had come down from a mount and spoken to His disciples about the things of the kingdom of God and the woes unto the multitude that did not believe in Him. And He healed many of them. And shortly after this, the Scripture tells us that Jesus says to love your enemies. I want you to know that Jesus teaches in this, this Scripture about a loving will about a will to love in all circumstances. And let's look at these scriptures now as we look in to Jesus' teaching about a loving will. Again, in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verses 27 through 36. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, Ask them not again. And as he would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if you lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is the kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. We see here where Jesus starts to teach about uh, being a believer, about things about Christianity, about things about being children of the most holiest. We see here where Jesus talks about a loving will and that He says that we are to love our enemies. He gives an example of behavior. Or he says to do good to them that hate you. In a normal way, we only do good to them that make us feel comfortable about being around. We do good to them that that appreciate what we do to them. And Jesus goes on from there and he says to bless them that curse you. You know, there's some people out there that don't think very much of you. Uh, There's some people out there that don't think as much of you as you think of yourself. Even as going as far as to, to curse you. And Jesus teaches to bless them. Or if at all possible, Provide some type of benefit to those that curse you. In another behavior or situation, Jesus teaches us to pray for them that despitefully use you. Or pray for them that lie about you or cause difficulties in your life. That despitefully use you in some type of untruthful way. Jesus says, That we're to pray for them. We're to lift them up to them. We're to love our enemies. This is a 
teaching about God's <coughs> uh, loving will that Christians are to have about them. <clears throat> Another uh, example of loving our enemies is the a physical situation where you may have even had a physical confrontation or a fight with someone. And Jesus tells us that if someone smite one cheek to turn the other, and he's saying that, don't give up on other people. Uh, bring about some type of a forgiveness. Bring about some type of a peaceful situation where a relationship can be stored, even if it means to get to a point where you also uh, put yourself out there, where you're vulnerable, being hit again by somebody. But the relationship has been restored. Even a physical situation where if someone were to take your coat away from you, that you have a loving will to also offer them your shirt. Do not let the situation of the their lack of love towards you uh, uh, disconnect or have you to have a hatefulness towards someone, but to offer them your shirt also. This is about loving your enemies, and this is about Jesus teaching about the loving will that he desires for Christians to have inside of themselves. He also gives an example about possessions as he talks about <clears throat> uh, uh, anything that someone should ask of you and have need of to give it to them and to provide that for them and help them and go an extended way and, and show out the, the loving will inside of you. <clears throat> and of these things, if, if someone were to take something for you and you see that they really want it and need it, don't go out and try to get it back. Just let them have it. Don't develop a sense of hopefulness inside of you, but to just let it go and to, and to expand upon the loving will of God inside of you. And that's what Jesus is teaching here. Now I want you to know that this is not a natural love. Now, this is not about being affectionate and loving towards someone like you normally would. But this is taking on the righteousness of Jesus in your life and to do something that you're normally not able to do, but to have a loving will inside of you that's not dependent upon how someone else treats you. It's not depending upon how someone else acts towards you, but it's about loving Jesus. And it's about taking upon a sense of character and a determination to show the love of Jesus out into the world and to develop and maintain a loving will inside of you and to show that out towards people <clears throat> when there's behavior situations, when there's physical confrontation situations, when there's a possession, possession situation where someone takes something for you. Jesus is teaching that we're to love our enemies. It's easy to love those that love us. But we as Christians are to love those that are our enemies because of God's holy and loving will inside of us. And as we mature as Christians, we know that we're going to have this loving will towards others no matter how they act, 
no matter how they treat us, we're going to provide Jesus out into the world. We're going to let the light of God shine out into the world because we're growing in our Christian out, Christian out. Anity, and we're growing in our spirituality in that we're going to let the love of God show out into the world through us as we show out a loving will towards others. <clears throat> and then in verse 31 it tells us that <clears throat> just as you would like people to do unto you, you do uh, the same things to them and to treat them like you would want to be treated. And that's part of this loving will of Jesus. <clears throat> Do you think that you deserve some kind of credit for showing love towards uh, other people that's going to do something for you? Well, the scriptures tell us that even sinners do that. It's easy to, <clears throat> to uh, show love towards someone that you feel like they deserve it. But what about the ones that don't deserve it? You need to have a loving will towards them and, and let the light of the world show out upon those that are undeserving. <clears throat> if you only do good to them, they do good to you. What difference is that than that of a sinner? Even sinners show good to the ones that do good to them. <clears throat> if you lend to people that uh, you expect to receive something in return, <coughs> uh, well, what what good is that? Even sinners lend to people that expect to receive something back for lending to others. <coughs> you see, Jesus is teaching the will of God and to do good to all men. Not only those that do good to you, but also to those that do not do good to you. That's where you should and will receive the thanks of God in your life. <clears throat> you know, I'd like to say that there's an opportunity here to be a Christian. There's an opportunity to show a difference about you now that you become a believer and you've been studying the word of God even here in this chapter of Luke where Jesus is talking about loving people and talking about even loving your enemy <clears throat> and, and he's teaching about the Christian developing a loving will towards all people. Again, that's not based upon how other people treat you, but it's based upon how Jesus forgave you. All the things that Jesus did for you on the cross when he took all of your sins and he took them away and he forgave them uh, and he never brings them up again. And you're forgiven as a Christian. And he got up on that cross. And he let him crucify him. Even to death. And he rose again after three days. And defeated hell. <clears throat> death in the grave. And he made a place for those that when they pass away. They go into the presence of God. All of these things is what Jesus has done for the believers. Don't you think that we can take upon some Jesus teaching about our will in this life? And what is our testimony that we have as we walk upon this earth? And Jesus teaches us 
that if we will listen to him, we will develop a loving will. He says in these scriptures, <clears throat> as he says, if you will listen to me and love your enemies or take on and develop a loving will in your life and let it start today to look at your testimony and grow in a loving will towards all people, even your enemies. And you will be known. <laughs> Amen. You will be known. You will have a testimony in Jesus. People will know you as a believer, as a Christian, as a child of the highest, as a child of God Almighty. Because of your testimony. Because you have a living will about you in your life. In the way you treat others. In the way you show love towards all people. Not just them that do good for you. Not just them that may give you something in return. Uh, not because you're expecting something. Just because you want to love them. Just because you want to <clears throat> spread out God's divine favor out into the world. Through you as a believer. Show God out into the world. Show the power of the Holy Spirit to turn from the flesh and to show love towards a sinner, toward a love towards someone that's evil. Show love towards someone that's not thankful. Let the power of the Holy Spirit spew out of you and show the love of Jesus out into this world. And not only to believers, but especially to the unbeliever. And don't expect any reward in, in return. But just do it because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. And that Jesus provided salvation for you. He poured out his love upon you. And his grace and mercy. And you receive that and we're born again. And let us show that grace out into the world. Let us show out the grace that we have received in our life. The favor from God that we did not deserve. Let us spew that out. And let us show that out into the world. As we love our enemies. Jesus teaches to love all people. To do good to all people. Both the thankful and the unthankful. Both the righteous and the evil. Both the ones that believe in Jesus and the ones that don't. Let us show out our loving will to people in the world. <clears throat> Jesus says to, to love your enemies is to do good. He says to lend to all, hoping for nothing. To be kind to the unthankful. Don't watch and see if they appreciate it or not. Just be kind to them because you're a Christian and you're following and believing in Jesus' teaching about the loving will that we're to have as Christians. Be kind to the evil. People have reputations. You know what they're about a lot of times. Be kind to that person. Show Jesus to that person. <clears throat> Your reward shall be great in heaven. Amen. Your reward is going to come from showing the loving will of Jesus to someone that's evil or unthankful or an unbeliever or someone that you normally and naturally wouldn't show love towards. You may not have an affection, but you can have a determination, an action inside about you that you're going to show love out into this world. You're going to develop and have what Jesus is enabling 
you to have as a Christian through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is a loving will that shines out into the world and lets people see what Jesus is all about. Let's people see a Christian testimony as you walk along the byways and the highways and around all types of people. There's a loving will about you that's shining out into this whole world because of Jesus and his love and his perfect love and the way that he showed love out when he was here, you know, the Jews were all around the Romans at that time. And they didn't like the Romans. The Romans were their enemies. And Jesus taught the Jewish people to love them. And to let them know that they're a Christian. That they believe in Jesus. And to let them have a testimony that went out about these Roman people and about many people that were uncertain about loving their enemies. Many people stopped following Jesus. Let's get that right. Many people in Jesus' day stopped following him altogether. When he started talk, uh, when he started saying, and he started teaching about loving your enemy. Many people stop following Jesus. See, Jesus is love. Jesus is all about love. His kingdom is established on his love being shown out to all people. The Jews, the Romans, the Gentiles, all people, all manners of nations. All people have an opportunity to have the salvation of God and be saved and be a child of the most highest. All people have an opportunity to experience the love of Jesus and a loving will that's beyond all understanding. It's beyond your ability. It's about you being a Christian. It's about showing up and letting Jesus show out through you a loving disposition beyond your own ability, beyond your own mentality, beyond your own desire to show love towards other people. But Jesus says, loving will will override and over power that old man and there'll be a new man that preaches and teaches and shows out the loving will of Jesus out into the world. The scriptures tell us in verse 36 <clears throat> to show mercy to all people in order in other words show God's divine favor to people that don't deserve it. Show mercy out to all people. Be compassionate beyond your ability. Let Jesus take you and show compassion out into this world and have a testimony and be known as a child of the highest and be known as a child of the Lord and be known as a child of God Almighty because you show a loving will, compassion, and mercy out into the world to all people. You see, even your Father that is in heaven, believers, even your Father is merciful. He had a desire to have a relationship with you. He had a desire because he sent his son to knock on the door of your heart. And if you open that door and let Jesus in, he will show mercy upon you and forgive you for your sins and may have forgiven you for your sins and he'll be your savior. For he is your Savior because the God, 
the Father is merciful and He made a way for you to have all of your mistakes forgiven and for me to have all of my mistakes forgiven in that we could have a relationship through Jesus with God Almighty and be in the presence of God one day forever and ever never to be separated from Him again by sin but to have a beautiful and a perfect loving relationship with God the Father and His Son Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit God shined out upon us with His loving will and when we take this message and apply it inside of us when we get off the path and we start following our ways let's reach out and let's show some action and let's start loving some enemies and let's start, start showing the love of Jesus to all people and let that loving will be stirred up inside of us and pour out into this world and that somebody might know that there's something different about you because you're a child of the holiest and they might want to know Jesus in their life and they might want to know Jesus in their life. Let's show out our loving will amongst all people. Love our enemies. Amen. I hope you appreciated the message this morning. Now, where are you at today in your life? Can you say that you're a believer? Can you say that you're growing in a loving will inside of you towards others? <clears throat> I'd like to pray for that now. Dear God, we come to you in prayer, Lord. God, I pray, Lord, that you're teaching about having a loving will in our lives goes out, God. And touches the hearts of the ones that are viewing this video. And helps them to grow in your grace. In your mercy and love. Towards all people in the world. Especially their enemies God. And Lord if there's one that don't know you God. I pray for their salvation God. I pray that they confess their sins. And tell you that they believe you are the Son of God and be saved in their lives, God, and be changed and known as a child of God. And all these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning. Praise God for His loving will. What a beautiful opportunity to share Jesus out into the world. Thank you.